right, so today I get to share with you something that's it's pretty unique to see. Um, and certainly one of my favorite parts of making these picture books. I got this package today. It's unopened. Unopened yet. That's why I'm filming. Um, it's from Penguin Random House. And in here are the actual proofs, the printed proofs of my next book, my next picture book. It's called I Am Not a Fish. Uh, it comes out June 4th. And I have never seen, this is the first time that I'm actually seeing the full size uh, pages. Um, you know, obviously I, I made, you know, all the illustrations. So I know what the artwork looks like, but it, it's special. It's special when you get to see these. Only one time do you get the proofs, okay? And so it's the last chance to kind of tweak, uh, not the artwork, but maybe like the, the printing a little bit. But my first look is gonna be your first look at I Am Not A Fish. Here we go. Okay, <laughs> look at that. Okay, so uh, let me get this out. So this is, let me see here. All right, this is a note from Jenny. Jenny, uh, Jenny's the art director at Penguin. Okay, put that over there. Okay, wow. Okay, so look at that. We have, so I don't know if I, how well you can see, you know, on the camera here, but I'm, I'm very happy with this. Obviously, I, I've seen the artwork before, but this color is beautiful. Very happy with it. This here, the the actual title is raised. I don't know how much you can see it on this camera, but that's raised. All of this, the fish in the background, this is Matt and the Jim or Edgar, uh, the, the jellyfish here is, it's all kind of glossy. Really nice. Very, very happy with that there. Okay, so this is the cover wrap. Okay, so this will go all the way around the book, you know, on the inside flap here, this is all our work from inside the book. Uh, Jenny actually assembled all this. This is a little bit of a synopsis uh, about the book. And so if you look here, so these are the proofs. These are the crop marks. Um, this is a, it's a registration mark. You see how there's an eighth of an inch bleed here. That's what that's called. So this artwork is referred to as full bleed. Okay, so it goes all the way to the edges. Okay, so here's the spine. You know, people are pretty familiar with this, but here of the author, illustrator, um, title, and then the publisher. This is Dial Books for Young Readers, right? It's an imprint of Penguin. All right, so here's the back cover. Oh, man, that's beautiful. Okay, so this here, again, I, I, I've seen this on screen, um, but Jenny assembled this. This is artwork a little bit from in, inside, and they actually, a Penguin, they did this. And I won't go too much into it right now, but this is a, obviously a plastic bag. And, you know, plastic bags are, especially by marine life, are uh, mistaken as, as jellyfish, right, and as food. And, um, again, I won't go into it now, but they're just nothing short of devastating to marine life. Um, okay, so here's the back. Okay, look at this. This is beautiful. That's the black flap. Again, Jenny assembled this from um, artwork that was inside the, um, inside the book. When you're working with an art director um, doing a picture book, um, ultimately I give them the layered uh, PSD files, the Photoshop files, and you want to be very organized with that, okay? Um, I know how it is, you know, you, you just start clicking new layer, new layer, new layer to, as you're painting stuff up, but when you're working with somebody who has to take those files and do stuff like this with it and, and basically take different elements and, and reassemble them, it's very good to be label the layers and be very, very organized. Okay, so that's the whole cover. Wow, very exciting. Okay, so I can't show you the whole book necessarily because it's, you know, has, it's not out yet. It comes out June 4th. But I'm going to show you as much as I can. Okay, so this is the dedication page. Um, this whole book is dedicated uh, to a simply amazing company. It's called 4Ocean. Uh, they're based out of Boca Raton here in Florida. Uh, but their basic mission is to clean the ocean uh, and the coastlines uh, of trash. Uh, so then they turn what was basically just pollution into products, kind of like this uh, simple bracelet that I drew here. In fact, that's really one of their main products, uh, are these bracelets. But listen, 4Ocean, look them up. Uh, I support this company 100%. Okay, so this is um, the first page, though, where Edgar, who... <laughs> Edgar is basically having an identity crisis and because he, he keeps being called something, you know, that he's not, namely a fish. And he comes across this, this underwater support group 
who, you know, made up of starfish who basically understand his problem. Uh, one thing to note here is that this is, you know, this is a full spread. Okay, you can see the top and bottom. This is the, these are the crop marks. Uh, you know, you have the full bleed here. Um, one thing I wanted to point out though was, you know, on the edges you have, we have the grayscale here. And then at the top, we have, um, you know, cyan, uh, black, magenta, and yellow. They have the B for black. Normally in, in CMYK, K uh, represents black. Okay, but nonetheless, I know what these mean. And that's a, a good uh, segue into why you look at the proofs in the first place. Okay, so when you're looking at them, you really not, it's not the place to change the artwork at all. But what you can do is adjust the color in the printing because all four of these colors they combine to make this full color okay and I've noticed that blue in the past it kind of prints a little bit dark so you can dial back very precisely in, in a percentage wise a little bit less blue a little bit less black you know so um, that's what that's for all right so that's really all I can share for now like I said the book's not out yet it comes out in a few months uh, on June 4th uh, but I hope you enjoyed this little inside look into uh, like I said, is one of my favorite steps of the publishing process. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, until then, stay inspired, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>